So often, when they feel alone, the bereaved pour out their hearts to their deceased loved ones, whether at grave sites or the quiet of their own homes. Is this just wishful thinking? Is it really possible to reach out across the great chasm that divides our world from theirs, communicating our love and caring to those who have passed on? Yeah, I talk to my softa. I say every morning hi and every night good night. I have a picture of her in my room. My grandpa, I hope you feel better. My grandfather, my great great grandfather, because I never got to see him. Um, uh, besides saying some Kaddish for them on occasion, uh, I do not believe I can communicate with them. You know, somehow or other, you feel like sometimes, you know, sometimes you're at least trying to communicate, and not necessarily sure you're getting the uh, a response. But you know, sometimes you just feel like it's the right thing to to reach out and. In terms of communicating with those who have passed on, I find myself uh, talking, if I can use that word, to my, my deceased mother and father fairly often, more so now that I've gotten older. Is the road of communication with the afterlife a one-way connection? Even if we are able to reach out to them in some way, can they also reach out to us? You can't because they're in heaven and their mouth is closed when they're dead. I believe somehow they communicate with us and, and it's it's really what's in here even though the physical part of a person is gone they, they, they live on in here in the mind and in the heart. And yes because they're air and they're like watching you from when you're down and they're up like they're hiding in the cloud and they can see you. I believe that my brother talks to me my brother died um, 17 years ago and I was young and he was too young and he talks to me through the radio because when I'm thinking about him or needing him a song will come on that is from him that reminds me of him or that he sang because he was a singer um, so I do believe that Philip talks to me my grandparents don't talk to me <laughs> Join us as we explore the shifting relationships we have with the deceased and the possibility of an eternal bond. We'll find out more in Lesson 5 of Soul Quest, The Journey Through Life, Death.